And tonight we're going to start with a developing situation which have major implications on U.S. foreign policy. And that question is going to start with Kevin Landrigan of the Union Leader. Thank you, Josh. This important question goes to both of you. North Korea today said it successfully conducted a higher level test of a nuclear weapon. This is the second test in eight months, the fifth since 2006. According to reports, the blast had the explosive power of 10 kilotons. To put in perspective, the bomb dropped on Hiroshima by the U.S. in World War II had 15 kilotons. There are already crippling sanctions on this country. So what should the U.S. do right now to make sure North Korea can't launch a nuclear weapon? And would you authorize the use of force to stop them? Mr. Ashu, you have the first response. Well, thank you, Kevin. It is disturbing, but not surprising, that we're seeing this behavior out of one of our adversaries. This administration has encouraged the wrong behavior. Look at what happened in Iran. We had sanctions on Iran, yet unbeknownst to uh, many of us in this country, we had taken a different path with Iran and in fact have now encouraged them to, uh, to continue doing what they have always done, which would be a state sponsor of terror. Now, in North Korea, why is this disturbing? It's because they are viewing this behavior and seeing incentives to do the same thing. Why should Americans be uh, concerned about this? It's because unless we change leadership, we are not going to change the behavior. Now, one important fact for Americans to know, if there is any sense of security on the Korean Peninsula, it's because there are defense systems, one of them, a missile defense system, that was de partially developed right here in New Hampshire at my company. And my opponent referred to me as a lobbyist. Well, what I am is a defense contractor that contributed to that system, which is protecting our allies on the Korean Peninsula. Congressman Ginta, you were supposed to get uh, the first response to that question. We apologize, but now's your time. Well, Kim Jong-un is a uh, dictator who now has five different times uh, tested nuclear weaponry. Uh, as you had mentioned, this is now at 8 to 10 uh, kilograms, uh, which is the most significant test that we have seen uh, in modern history. Uh, there was an emergency meeting today at the UN Security Council. Uh, the United States, uh, led by our president and the next president, needs to lead uh, the council and the world in not just condemnation, because our president continues to condemn without future action. But this dictator needs to know that we will not accept any future testing of missile or, or nuclear capability, and that immediate sanctions have to be ratcheted up, and it has to come from the, from the Council, and it has to come from all of our allies, uh, not just in the region, but around the world. That should happen immediately. I hope the process has started today with that initial meeting today, uh, but it has to happen before the end of the year.